Hello guys, my name is SimGuard, and today I'll be showing you guys a gameplay of the CDC, a tier 8 French premium tank, and this tank is pretty much required, I would say. This tank you need in the garage if you like medium tanks. You will love this thing. It's pretty much has a playstyle of like a Leopard 1 and a Scout tank. Pretty much, that's how I see this tank, and that's how I play this tank. Leopard 1 is a very snipey tank with 0.3 accuracy. This thing does not have that accuracy, sadly, but the accuracy overall is pretty good. If I'm correct, it's 0 0.32 or 0 0.34. I'm not completely sure, but it's something around that. And yeah, and overall, this tank is just amazing. Like, the only bad thing that I do not like on this tank is the armor, but then again, you have great gun, you have great speed, your camo value is pretty awesome, it isn't that good, but it isn't that bad at the same time. So the first target I see here is a Sanger 1, and I go immediately for him. I actually manage to track him, I think, because he does not move here, uh, and we just pick him off pretty much. An easy, easy kill from the beginning, easy damage, very easy guy to kill. He played pretty bad with his Sanger 1, uh, rushing down the middle like that, it's really stupid I would say I would not do that if I, if I were you if you were a tiger one in this matchup the best thing for you to do is just follow your fellow heavy tanks up this way or maybe camp a little bit back like behind this rock or just follow this road and join up with the other forces up here but going straight in the middle is not the best idea because if there's people uh, going to position where I was they will destroy you in seconds like they will destroy you uberly fast and also I have no idea how I just did not lose any HP from that jump because that jump was pretty damn high so I was actually when that moment happened on the stream I was actually very surprised that's why I looked back like three or four times making sure if I was crazy or not but yeah I was actually expecting to lose HP there but somehow my tracks held up and my tank did not lose anything so the second target I see here is the IS-3 and I'm actually in a perfect situation right now against him because I'm behind bushes the guy cannot see me so if I shoot, I will not be spotted. And that's the best way you could play this tank, is from a position where others cannot see you. Third target I see here is a Time 59. Again, he cannot see me because I'm behind the bush and the camo value on this thing is just... It's pretty damn good. It's like, it's like I would say, like, leopard camo. Um, maybe worse than le leopard, but it's still pretty good. I also don't have camouflage on this tank because I don't really need it and I don't have the gold for it. Because usually if you, if you buy camo, for a premium tank, it's gonna be forever because you're not gonna sell that premium tank. At least I will not sell that premium tank. Uh, so I never buy a camel with credits. At least I'm sure most of you guys also don't do that because if you have a premium tank, you are probably sure that you're gonna keep the premium tank for quite some time, usually forever, like I do with this tank. And I just don't see the point of buying it with credits. I just don't see it. But I do know that my crew has camouflage because this crew is from the bad shed and my bad shed crew has camouflage because I play my bad sheds especially later on in the game uh, very passively so 2.7k damage so far we're doing a pretty good job here holding up this side and trying to kill them 112 is playing a bit too aggressive he does not have much HP I go out again try to shoot him but he dies before I can get the shot off second target here Tiger 2 pushing up as well on this side they're playing very aggressive on this side here, so I focus them out as well. Easy pens, this thing has 212 penetration, very good penetration for tier 8. You don't really need more than that, of course, if you go against tier 10s, you will need that gold. That's why I have 20 gold shots. If I ever meet tier 10s, then I can actually have some, some control over the battle. I kill the SDA2 here and I start pushing up on this Tiger P. Also, I'm playing with Guard and Troy. Guard is in his CDC and Troy is in his Panther 88. Also a very good tank, doesn't have preferential matchmaking just like this tank, but in my opinion this tank doesn't really need preferential matchmaking because it's pretty OP the way it is. 
It's pretty much like an FCM, I would say. It's pretty much the same gun, same kind of stuff to it, but FCM gets preferential matchmaking, so it's really up to you. If you feel like you can actually do something in tier 10 games, then just go for this thing. But if you want to have it on easy mode, then you can go for the FCM, because FCM is a pretty easy tank. It's really, really big and really, really squishy, but it does not need tier 10, so that's the good part about the FCM. So. This game is pretty much over 4.5k damage, only a Waffle Truck of Panzer IV left and a Yak Tiger 88. And they're both on the left side of the map, the BC line. And I'm slowly going there, well not really slowly, this tank can actually reach 50 to 60 really really fast, surprisingly. But then again, a tank that does not have armor needs to have something else. So it having speed is also good. Like, just look at the uh, Borsig. The Borsig has absolutely no armor, but it also doesn't have any speed. So that's the bad part about the Borsig that I don't like. But then again, in the previous patch, um, Camel... I think Camel got nerfed or something. I'm not sure what it was, or Bushes got nerfed. I am not sure what the nerf was, but I remember something happening with the Camel on tanks. Uh, I haven't played the Borsig in a while, but I do remember when the camel nerf wasn't there yet, the Borsik was amazing because I could just camp from 100 meters behind a bush and not be spotted. It was just so stupid how OP the camouflage was in that tank, but with the um, uh, nerf, the Borsik isn't the same anymore because it doesn't have speed, doesn't have armor, it doesn't really have camo anymore as it used to, so it isn't the tank what it was. I shoot this waffle trunk of Panzer IV with each she uh, two times, and two times I do not pen him. I only hit him and do 100 damage. Uh, and the best thing to do if you see a weak armor tank is load up Ichi, because Ichi will pen and it will do automatically more damage. But then again, if you want to be, re if you want to have reliable shots, then just stick with the EP shots. Like in that situation, EP could have worked better because I did not pen him with my Ichi two times, so I only did a around 300 damage with those two shots. But I could have done probably around the 400s or 450 if I would pen him with EP. But yeah, let's take a look at the after battle reports. So here's the after battle report. You can see I got East Tanker, Fire for Effect, Duelist, Bruiser, Tank Caliber, and also Top Gun. And I also made 150,000 credits out of that game. A lot of profit from that game, 5k damage in total, 29 shots fired, 26 hits, and 23 penetration, so I missed three times and I bounced three times as well. I played very good that battle. I didn't play, I didn't really make much mistakes, and I also got 1.8k base XP. That's a lot of base XP right there. Um, I think that's my highest I ever got with the CDC. And I made 123,000 profit out of that whole game, so I actually made a lot, a lot of profit. But yeah, that was the gameplay, guys. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like, subscribe, and comment. But as usual, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.